how much do you need to retire? That's like saying, how much do I need to eat for lunch? Well, how hungry are you? What condition are you in? Did you eat breakfast? What's your regular diet like? And on and on it goes. If you don't eat that much normally, you're not going to need a lot of food at lunch. And if you don't spend that much money on a regular basis, you're not going to need as much in retirement as Johnny Jones down the street who's showing off his cyber truck and pickleball trophies every chance he gets. Do you really need one and a half million dollars to retire comfortably and remain comfortably retired for the rest of your days here? Well, according to a recent survey from Northwestern Mutual, that's what our fellow Americans think they need. Technically, the results say 1.46 million, but could we just round up that last 40 grand to one and a half million? That's the magic number they say we think we need. Here's what's crazy. That magic number is up 15% from last year and 53% more than what Americans thought they needed in 2020. <laughs> yeah, inflation hurts, but it's not that high. Here's the kicker. Survey says the average American has saved only $88,000 $88, for retirement. The Harris Poll conducted the online survey for Northwestern Mutual in January of 2024. I have no affiliation or any ties to Northwestern whatsoever. I'm simply interested in their survey. Among the interesting results, a little over half of respondents believe the U.S. will enter a recession this year. That's down from the 67% who predicted one last year. A third of adults don't feel financially secure. That's up from 27% from last year's survey and the highest ever for the study. More than half expect inflation to continue rising this year with only 9% saying they're outpacing inflation. Survey says that Americans believe their greatest obstacle to financial security is inflation the economy, lack of savings. Let's open grandpa's book of wisdom. Right next to buy low, sell high, sonny boy, it says, sonny boy, you can't control that. Let it go. Can you control inflation? Can you control the economy? Let those go. But you can control your savings. Focus on that. How to increase your savings is a topic for another episode, but here's three quickies to take away as a bonus. Get the free 401k money. Make sure you're contributing enough to your plan to get the full employer matching money. Put a Roth IRA on autopilot. Link your bank account to your Roth account, pick a dollar amount and the day of the month, and let the contributions fly without having to think about it and cut the unused subs, the subscriptions you don't ever use. Do you really need to watch another season of Reacher? Well, yeah, you do, and you should. So Prime Video makes the cut, but another season of Obliterated? Uh, probably not. So Netflix gets the cut. All right, it doesn't have to be those ones. It can be anything you're subscribed to that you're not using. Audit yourself you could easily find an extra $100 a month going out the door on stuff you're not using and redirect that to a Roth IRA. You can always resubscribe later. And never forget that your personal finances are your responsibility, not the government's, not your employer's. Don't blame things on the market or the economy. You can't control inflation or the economy, but you can control your behavior doesn't matter who's in the White House. What matters is what's going on in your house. So, do you really need $1.5 million to retire? Let me know below. Is that enough? Not enough. Or maybe your plan is to never retire. I'll leave a link to the survey in the description so you can peruse it on your own. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next episode.